All right, so in this video, I have a brand new pair of running shoes from Saucony, and this is a uh, it's probably gonna make some people mad. This is a two hundred dollar pair of Saucony running sneakers that have sold out on Saucony's website. In fact, a lot of people had the same resentment when I bought these uh, because I wasn't wearing them to run, and this is like an elite athlete running sneaker, and this is the Nike Vaporfly four percent. So Saucony just released this pair of sneakers right here. And it's very familiar to this pair here. And I wanted to just give you guys kind of my two cents on this pair of sneakers and will it be something that you can rock casually or not? Because if you guys are anything like myself, you've been chasing that sensation the very first time you tried on a pair of Ultra Boost and the next like comfort sneaker. But I've done a lot of reviews on a lot of comfortable sneakers on this channel now in the last five years. And this is a new one that has a lot of buzz out there especially since it does look similar to boost so i wanted to give you guys my two cents on this one and let's go ahead and get into this video from a casual perspective what is going on guys hess here collectivekicks.com if you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals that i curate for you guys as well as if you guys are trying to buy a pair of these i will link them in the description as well uh, and this is the uh, the brand new Saucony Endorphin Pro. Now I've been waiting for this shoe since the very first images just because it looked really, really dope. Like it looked like the nicest pair of Saucony running shoes that I've seen in a long time. I just love the overall aesthetic look of the shoe just in general. But more importantly, this one is laced full of technology and that's something that interests me from a sneaker perspective. Uh, but this does feature a carbon fiber plate in it, which means you can't really bend it backwards. Similar to the rival over here, the Vaporfly 4%, uh, it has that carbon fiber plate in it as well. And so these are both kind of comparable shoes. And since I did a review on these a long time ago, because these were like one of the first like carbon fiber infused running shoes and really they are something that propel you forward. And I can see why they were in question for the Olympics for runners, but it is something that is really comfortable, but at the same time, it's a really odd comfort. So it's not really for everybody and it's really not intended for casual use. And obviously I know that because I've tried them for casual and it didn't really work that well. It's comfortable, it's squishy. It gave me the very first taste and sensation of Nike Zoom X, which was unbelievable. And it still is a really unbelievable technology that Nike just hasn't used to its full potential yet. But part of the reason why is because of the durability issues. Uh, but it is softer than anything else on the market. And there's a lot of things on the market now. And so now from Saucony, we have this Endorphin Pro, which has that carbon fiber plate down the middle and a really soft, squishy midsole as well. And honestly, I was interested in it because it had like the similar vibes of the Ultra Boost. This midsole is actually something different than what I thought it was. I thought this was gonna be the same exact thing as the Power Run Plus. But this one is actually called Power Run PB, which is lighter and softer than the Power Run Plus on the uh, Triumph 17. So that was kind of the primary reason why I wanted to give it a try. So I've done a review on the Triumphs and I wasn't that impressed with the Power Run Plus, to be honest. It does look like Adidas Boost, feels kind of like Adidas Boost, but in this day and age of Nike React and Nike Zoom X, Fresh Foam X, and there's a lot softer sneaker cushioning technologies on the market. And so this is actually more in line with something that I'm really excited to see what Saucony does with. So I did find an article on the Endorphin line and the other models. Uh, there is the Endorphin Pro that I have here. Then there's also the Endorphin Speed, which is the knockdown version. Endorphin Speed doesn't have carbon fiber plate. It has like a TPU plate, which is like hard plastic. And then the cheapest version is the Endorphin Shift, which doesn't have any of the rolling feature in the front of the shoe, carbon fiber or TPU. But it also doesn't use the same power run PB uh, foam from what it sounds like. So, But I found an article on slowtwitch.com. Shout out to the writer over there. They, they did a good job on that. Just to give you guys kind of a general overview of the shoe, the shoe weighs about seven ounces, so it's not the lightest sneaker on the market, but it's definitely really, really light. The mesh is really thin, lightweight. You do have some reinforcement on the toe area. You do have a little bit also on the heel, but it's really quite flimsy on the back section. You have a fused design over the middle of the shoe with a Saucony logo that kind of sweeps back, which looks really cool as it changes color. Also in the back section, you could see they have some extra little like racing stripe lines that are fused on that look really cool. I wonder if they're gonna stay on over long term though, but it does add like a fast looking element to the shoe, which, which I dig. 
a reinforced fused material for the laces and it says endorphin pro on the side and then you do have a really thin stretch mesh tongue that is attached to the upper along with a different Saucony logo it probably has to do with the speed roll idea of rocking off of your shoe the insole says endorphin series with speed roll technology for those wondering and the liner of the shoe is really really thin also not a lot of padding but a little bit of extra on the heel they actually feel really comfortable on feet though i didn't feel like any obstructions or any rubbing like I did with the four percents but the biggest feature about the shoe is a crazy midsole featuring that new power run PB cushioning which is ultra lightweight with maximum bounce which I can say they did a really good job engineering it and it's a pretty generous stack of cushioning but I do like the three-tiered approach or whatever to this midsole you can see there's a white line kind of a piping around and then there's that black line that comes around the shoe as well but then you have the bulk of it in that uh, bluish color the forefoot cushioning is really quite good and I don't know what it looks like inside of the shoe But that's where all the magic happens with this new speed roll technology Which is again the carbon fiber plate that's sandwiched in between the new power run PB But the other really cool feature on the shoes is the soles I love the, the traction pattern on the soles They actually did a really good job on the traction of the triumph 17 as well uh, It's a lot stickier on the 17 and bigger, but they still did a nice job on this shoe and it kind of reminds me of like the Pegasus Turbo in a sense but you do have some arrows that point upwards and that's kind of like the zone of the shoe that kind of rolls forward as you can see it rocks back and forth across you have a Saucony logo on the bottom of the shoe here and this is where it looks really similar to like Adidas Boost type of material it's soft it's squishy it's definitely softer than the Power Run Plus I mean this is really really nice on feet and I do like the fact that they can color the Power Run uh, also in a bunch of different colors and it just looks cool probably not the most recommended for casual wear honestly i am excited to see where the power run pb cushioning takes us in the future because i would love this shoe if it didn't have the carbon fiber plate in it the carbon fiber plate in it makes it specifically for those people that are going to be running in the shoes for faster paces if you will but it kind of pigeonholes the shoe into that category alone all in all i say that you could probably wear these casually it would be fine but it, again it's just not the most comfortable but i really do want to try a regular pair of Saucony's with that crazy PB cushioning. And it's cool to see that Saucony has been evolving the cushioning uh, line that they've had from the Ever Run with the TPU pellets that were fused together uh, to the Power Run Plus in the Triumph 17 is now to the Power Run PB. Um, it's cool to see the evolution and I'm, I'm definitely here for it. Anyways, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think about the new Endorphin Pro. If you guys have tried these from a performance perspective, drop a comment in the comment section what you think. Is it something that's good, bad, indifferent? Curious to see your guys' thoughts. But thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I do have uh, some more sneaker cushioning technology videos that I cover from a casual perspective. If you guys are interested in that, check my channel. But have a good rest of the day. We'll hopefully see you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace, guys.